Selena the Aries. So, I was thinking about all the things that I heard that Selena had done and said in regards to her father trying to control her life and tell her what to do and and how Abraham tried to stop Selena from dating Chris. And I remember that scene on the bus when Chris um, was trying to stand up and support Selena and and stop Abraham from completely just going off on Selena, I guess. And Selena, uh, Chris said that they loved each other and they were going to get married and he was nothing, he, it was nothing that he could do about it. And Abraham started yelling and Selena was like, don't talk to him like that. Don't yell at him like that. And um, Abraham responded and said, I can say whatever I want to say to him, yada, yada, yada. And then there was another situation um, where Abraham had said something in regards to Chris and Selena defended him. So I just think Selena had that, you know, that, that fiery, um, attitude because, you know, she's an Aries and, you know, Aries is a fire sign. So Selena did not allow Abraham to, um, take advantage of Chris, talk about Chris, diss Chris, anything like that. She always defended and stood up for her man. And I think if Selena was right here right now today, it, it, there would be no way in hell she would allow the King Dania family to um, leave Chris out of anything, talk about Chris, um, do anything in disregards of Chris. She wouldn't have allowed her father to sue Chris for trying to do a series, none of that. I think the only reason why they have all this leverage that they have is because Selena is no longer here to stop it. And, you know, people who have a fire sign are people who have tempers. They're not going for shit. Um, you can't control them and tell them what to do because they're going to figure out a way to do their own thing anyway. And that's just how Aries people are. I'm an Aries, so I know that for a fact, you know. Um, and people who are Leo um, also have that kind of mindset. You can't tell them what to do and how to do, they gonna do their own thing anyway. There was nothing that Abraham was gonna be able to do to um, stop Selena from doing what she was gonna wanna do and live her life the way that she was gonna wanna live it. I think now that cell is gone, Abraham has nothing but free will and freedom to just do whatever um, because he's her father, but Honestly and truthfully, I think Chris deserves just as much credit and just as much um, acknowledgement as Selena's father does because Chris was her husband. And I think all the things that Chris deserved, Abraham took that. And um, I don't know, I, I, I hope that one day when Abraham passes away, because he will pass away, we all have our day of death, um, that Chris can get his his what he deserves back, given back to him. Um, and hopefully Chris can do something with that. Who knows? But those were my thoughts on um, Selena the Aries. I mean, Selena, you know, the reality is she wouldn't have gone for a lot of the shit that's going on right now. Um, it's no way in hell she would allow it to happen. Um, us Aries people, we are very kind-hearted people. We're loving, we're caring, we're forgiving. Um, we're easygoing, but when you piss us off or when you or when you make us feel like you have crossed us, all hell fucking breaks loose. All hell breaks loose. So as kind and loving and caring as Selena was, Selena also had this side to her that just like Abraham, she had a temper and... Um, she had a limit to where she just wasn't finna go for that shit. All these things that her family is doing now and her father is doing now, Selena wouldn't be going for this shit. I'm trying to tell y'all. Selena, Selena wouldn't be going for it. And these cookies are so good. But that's why Cell eloped with Chris and said, fuck this shit. We about to get married because if we don't get married now, Abraham will continue to be able to to interfere with our lives and our relationships. The only way he gonna be able to accept us now is if we get married right now. That was the Aries coming out of cell 
That was the Aries telling her, you got to handle your business. You got to do what you got to do. That was the Aries saying, fuck this shit. I'm going to do it my way anyway. She got married. She made that man her husband. And now there was nothing that Abraham could do about getting in the middle of what they had going on. She was grown. She was married. He couldn't do nothing no more. She put a stop to that shit. She put an end to it. That was the Aries saying, I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. You're not going to stop me. You're not going to tell me how I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyway. Just saying. Chris would be able to have more wiggle room and leeway if Selena was here because Selena would be sure, you know, make sure that Chris would be able to do his thing. Selena wouldn't allow her family to mistreat Chris the way that they're mistreating him now. She wouldn't allow her family to overlook him the way they're overlooking him now. She wouldn't allow that. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest, there, you know, uh, Abraham and his children are doing Selena a disservice, if you ask me, because um, Selena would have wanted Chris to have his portion of Selena's estate. Selena would have wanted Chris to have his portion of royalties that would have gone to her. Selena would have wanted Chris to have that. And Abraham cut Chris out of all of that stuff. So he's really doing his daughter a disservice. And he's and he's honestly um, a disgrace to Selena's legacy because he's doing all the things that Selena would have been against and all the things that Selena wouldn't have wanted. So, um, that's just the truth about this family that I'm telling, um, my opinion based on it. And I think at the end of the day, Chris will have his blessings coming to him because they're going to come. God is going to see fit that he get, he gets something at the, at the end of all of this. Um, that man don't deserve to be treated that way. He doesn't deserve to be left out of the loop when he was a part of all of this that went on. No, he didn't get this started. No, it, you know, it wasn't his original idea or whatever, but he was the guitarist that Abraham's son picked up out of the loop and brought him into the band. So I don't know. Chris deserves better. And that's all I'm saying. And like I always say, do you live your best life? Get yourself together and no robot behaviors over here. See y'all in the next video. Peace. Later.